Is it on? Okay, that's better. All right, first of all, Passport to Prosperity has been in place for just over 11 years. It's a provincial initiative. Um, with the Ministry of Education, they decided that when they were changing the curriculum, that it was important to have more businesses involved in experiential learning. And at that time, there were a number of organizations who were out there already working with business, and they asked us to apply for the funding. And so it started, and initially we were just going out recruiting businesses, and then it expanded from there. And of course, once you get businesses involved, you need to get them involved in something, and you need to work with the schools to make sure that it's all being relevant. And so this whole network has started to support all of your programs. Uh, we're sponsored by the Provincial Partnership Council, and uh, we run throughout uh, Ontario. And as we go through the uh, presentation, there will be some examples of some of the fantastic things that are happening in the province. Uh, on the left is uh, one of the events that we do. It's a community career event. On the right-hand side is a workplace tour. Our main mandate is to increase uh, businesses who are involved in the uh, uh, working with the schools. But more importantly now, our mandate has expanded and one of our priorities is to support all the specialist high skills major programs. Make sure that you're connecting with the business people in your community, that they're coming on as partners, that you are building really strong partnerships that will last for a long time. So that you're really communicating well with the business sector and uh, expanding all of these opportunities. Uh, Passport to Prosperity, or P2P as we call them, uh, is being delivered by 26 agencies across uh, Ontario, and is managed by the Ontario Business Education Partnership, or as we call them, OBEP. OBEP brings us together once uh, a year, and we do a, pro um, a provincial uh, forum so that we are uh, really maximizing our opportunities. Um, organizations for delivering passport to prosperity. These are the ones who were asked to uh, apply for the, the funding and a few others who have come on since. But business education councils, like the one that I work for, were all not for profit organizations. Industry education councils, learning partnerships, and local training boards. And again, OBEP is the uh, overseeing uh, provincial uh, organization. And what do we do? We support you by connecting schools and business partners. Uh, we promote experiential learning in the community and we connect um, business and industry sectors and support career mentoring activities. And we also manage employerregistry.ca. Anyone, is there, how many are signed on to employerregistry.ca? Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. It's really important for you. And on the right hand side of that, another example of experiential learning taking place in the province. And here's another one. Um, as we work with the schools, we find out what the needs are, the interests are, we work with the business community, and we help make really exciting things happen for the, the students. And here's one that's happening in Niagara. It's a uh, healthcare camp. Most uh, Passport to Prosperity coordinators um, manage some type of a speaker's bureau and a tour, a workplace tour uh, database. And this is one that's taking place in Hamilton, but that's something that I do all the time. On the left-hand side, you'll see the logos of some of the deliverers, the 26 deliverers, and one of the activities that they uh, uh, organize throughout the year. So on the left-hand side, we've got uh, organizations from across the province and a great variety of career experience that take place for you. And again, there are more here. And uh, HIAC, that's uh, Halton Industry Education Council, uh, they've been doing women as career speeches for a number of years. That's been expanded to men as career speech uh, uh, coaches. Um, but all of these expand and uh, evolve as there's need in the school and interest in the community. Um, this is one uh, success story. There are many, many success stories throughout the province. Absolutely fabulous things are happening, and I would love to share about 20 with you. But since this is mine, I'll share this one with you. Um, in 2003, there was a new high school being built in Guelph, and I had been working in the industrial area adjacent to where the school was being built and meeting with the business people there and thought it'd be a really good idea if these people met before the school opened and they had a chance to meet their neighbors. So we did a very simple partnership breakfast, uh, how to be good neighbors, 
We went around the room twice, just around the table twice. We had CEOs from about eight businesses at the table and the senior people from the school. Everybody took this very seriously. They came in business suits. And what we did is we went around the first time and said, this is, what I, this is who I am, where I work, what I do, and what I'd like you to know about me or us. And the second time we went around and said, this is how I would like to work with you. And as a result, for the past seven years, six core businesses have met quarterly. They've offered, uh, students have been involved in more than 700 career experiences and wide, wide range of opportunities. And they've done seven home builds out of this initial uh, breakfast. On the left hand side, there's Brian Andres, the lead for the, uh, from the school for the Specialist High Skills Major Home Build. On the right hand is Brian Reed from Reed Heritage Homes. What we did is we uh, nominated this team as a provincial employer champion, and they won the award in June, so we're very proud of them. But these are the types of things that are happening all over the province, and things that you can tap into too, and we're happy to do these things for you. Again, more activities that are taking place. This is from Windsor, and uh, as you can see, they're visiting the University of Guelph. Amazing place. Uh, Jason asked me to talk about career co-op tools and opportunities, so I'll just quite, or quickly highlight what we do. We've mentioned a number of the career events we do. We do workshops, we do all kinds of career activities. When it comes to co-op, what we do is, because we're out talking to business every day, I always ask them if they'd be willing to take a co-op student. When they say, even a mild, well, I might be interested, I immediately pass that information on to our local co-op office. They're the ones who manage co-op, but we support them and help them in many ways. So I will pass on a new business, uh, contacts that way. They also call, call me and say, we've got a 15 kids in construction and we don't have any placements, can you help us find them? And we go out and do that as well. Um, opportunities, we love to sit down with every one of you.